You know what's depressing you tonight? Know? You look out the window. I am speaking. Moving on. And this is one of the important parts of the Toastmasters meeting. <coughs> all this amateur fit here and are able to give our opinions, and that's what it is. That's what makes Toastmasters strong. You may agree with what I say, or you may not agree, or I may say things that you didn't see, or I may have left things out that you had, and that's how we all get stronger. Roy has the abstract concept, which is always a tough one. Yeah. But if you notice Roy in all his speeches, you give a great introduction. You set yourself up mm -hmm. so that we're all ready to hear the speech. We don't have to wonder what's going on in the first two minutes, but it's all neat. And you do that better than anybody. Also, you always have great speech bodies. People don't understand that great speeches start with great speech content. And if you have great speech content, then you have the bones for making a great speech if you can deliver it. These questions here are kind of in any moment, kind of go them. You had good humor. You had great relevance. We're in an election season and with the election tomorrow. And so that's so it's very timely. You've given lots of speeches, won lots of contests, so you have a lot of the good elements like you have good command, you have good voice, you have good eye contact, you have good humor. You almost always bring humor into every speech and every table topics. And good humor, especially relevant in this speech with, about statistics, and you pull that off very adeptly. How did the speaker define the scope of the speech itself? You had one word, error. So that naturally defined the, the scope of the speech. Was the topic narrow enough to explain sufficiently in time allowed? Yes, because you had the explanation of one, one word. How effective did the speaker draw on experts' opinions while discussing the subject? This is where you maybe fell down a little bit. I really don't understand this question. But you had lots of definitions and explanations and gave them very deftly, but you didn't really quote any real experts. How did the speaker make the talk interesting to the audience? You had a very succinct explanation, but you also had some other concepts like we need to ask the right people. And we need to ask the right question, which is very telling. And that did a lot to explain the error, plus and minus, and that kind of thing, and how we can be off. Mm. I, that's, that's, that's it. That was, it was a good speech, and I think that you navigated a tough speech in this manual, the abstract concept. Thank you, Lord.